small farms prefer taking goods on credit from suppliers than borrowing commercial loans. According to a financial sector deepening Kenya report on small farm finance, inadequate tailor-made credit facilities has seen small farms explore alternative funding, including informal credit arrangements with suppliers. Pending bills in Kenya are estimated at 638 billion shillings, with suppliers grappling with liquidity crunch due to delayed payments. Financial sector deepening in Kenya now says small and mid-sized companies are key contributors to the country's pending bills due to limited credit access. According to the FSD report, most small businesses prefer taking goods on credit from suppliers instead of borrowing from commercial loans to buy the supplies. As you think about supplier credit and especially from large firms who are supplying and maybe they, they don't pay their bills, they don't pay their bills on time, that can be a real problem for um, small firms and it can make their businesses, again, that volatility, face that volatility because they can't predict when they're going to get the payment. And if they don't get that payment, then they can't buy the raw goods. This has seen suppliers grapple with low liquidity. People basically bought things on credit. I'll write you a check, but I'm going to put a date on it when there'll be money there. That's a way of delaying payment. That's a credit tool that was kind of innovated, if I can say, based on that paper check. The rigid lending regime has been blamed for low credit access among small firms. Maybe the banks can do more lending to the suppliers to enable them to do more credit to the small firms. And that's a channel that can be very, very productive for the overall economy and lift everybody up at the same time. According to the report, women business owners took higher value loans than men, averaging 33,000 shillings and 28,000 shillings respectively. Agri-processing farms took higher value loans than services or light manufacturing, with the farms taking an average of 42,500 and 30,000 shillings respectively.